Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MinuteMath. And today, we're going to learn about solving multi-step equations, multi-step equations, and we're going to do our critical thinking question. So, the problem's giving me this question here. Explain. Explain two ways you could solve. I'm right here. 20 equals 5 times a minus 3 plus x. So they want to ask us um, for two ways we can solve that. Well, the two ways that I'm thinking um, is I can either A, first scenario, divide by a 5 to both sides first. So by dividing a 5 to both sides, get rid of that parenthesis, put only a distribute, and I'm left with a 4 equals the negative 3 plus x, and then add a 3 to both sides. The other way I could do this is to distribute the 5 to both sides first, and then bring my like terms over, my numbers over. So let's go show that. Let's go, let's go do this both ways. I'm going to write the problem a second time right here. 20 equals 5 times a negative 3 plus x. So the first one here, um, my first method I mentioned, let's go divide by 5. So if we divide by 5 to both sides, it's the opposite of multiplication right there. 20 divided by 5 is a 4. And that's left with a negative 3 plus x on the right. From there, I have to add a 3 to both sides to get x by itself. And we have 7 equals x, okay, right there. And we can rewrite that to be x equals 7, have x come first, all right? So when I divide it first by 5 to both sides, I got the final answer of x equals 7. Let's try distributing. So if I distribute the 5 across, so we have 20 right here, 5 times negative 3 is a negative 15. 5 times x is a 5x. Well, what I want to do now is go add a 15 to both sides to get x by itself. So we add a 15 to both sides, leaving me 20 plus 15, which is a 35, equals 5x. I'm going to divide by 5 to both sides. 35 divided by 5 is 7, equals x. Rewrite that to x comes first. x equals a 7, and there we go. These two are the same. They're exactly the same, so we're good. And our final answer is just x equals 7 here, right? But we, we solved it two different ways, right? So let's recap. Um, the first method, uh, or we needed to explain two ways to solve 20 equals 5 times minus 3 plus x. First method, I divided by 5 to both sides, got 4, and then added a 3 to both sides to get 7. And so now it's left with just 7 equals x, or x equals 7. <clears throat> the other method I did, I started out by distributing the 5. Distribute that can be negative 15 plus 5x. Then I add a 15 to both sides, get 35, divide by 5, and still got x equals 7 now. Or 7 equals x and flip to x equals 7. So what that shows is that there's many ways to solve each one of these problems. There's not one exact right way. There's many ways you can approach it. Okay? And one can argue one method's easier than the other, depending on the problem. Well, it's really whatever you're most comfortable with. But it's a good way to check to solve both ways, see if you get the same answer, because if you do, you probably got the problem right. In this case, Problem, uh, our final answer here is just x equals.